Hi students. Today I would like to discuss problem. So far, what I covered in these concepts. For that, just recall the problems so far what I covered. So the problems first from first formula is P. P equal to distance upon time. Let's recall all the formulas first. Later we can follow the problem. Units are meter per second. After average speed, average speed equal to total distance by total time. Total distance upon total time. Its units also meter per second. Next one is velocity. Velocity is displacement upon time. Its units also meter per second. After that, average velocity. Average velocity equal to initial velocity plus final velocity. divided by 2 we will represent initial velocity as small u and final velocity as small v so initial velocity plus final velocity by 2 gives the average velocity and one more problem sorry one more formula acceleration Acceleration equal to V minus U by T. Final velocity minus initial velocity by time. Its units are meter per second square. By using these formulas, let us try to solve certain problems. The first problem it is given in the NPRT example problem an object travels 14 meter in 4 second and then another 16 meter in 2 second an object travels 16 meter in 4 second and another 16 meter 2 second what is the average speed of the object so it's a simple problem you need to find average speed average speed equal to total distance by total time here the total distance 16 meters plus 16 meters 16 meters plus 16 meters divided by total time 4 second plus 2 second 4 second plus 2 second so 16 plus 16 32 meter divided by 6 so you solve that you will get the average speed the average speed is nothing but 5.4 5.3 approximately meter per second is the average speed of the given problem see 
another problem example 8.2 an odometer of a car reads 2000 km at the start of a trip and 2400 km at the end of the trip if the trip took 8 hours Calculate the average speed of the car in kilometer per hour and meter per second. First of all, what is this odometer? Odometer is a device which measures how much distance you covered during a trip. Suppose you are going to a trip. So your car odometer measures how much distance you covered, how much distance you covered. That will be displayed at here. So the distance you covered will be displayed at here. So this portion is known as odometer. And what about this? So this needle shows about how fast you move. The needle shows how fast you move. So this is calling as speedometer. So the vehicle contains two meters. One is speedometer. Second one is odometer. Odometer shows the distance you cover during a trip and speedometer shows how fast you are moving. So, coming to the problem, the odometer of a car reads 2000 kilometers at the start of the trip. Odometer reading. Odometer reading. the start of the trip the start of the trip equal to 2000 km and odometer reading at the end of the trip equal to 2400 kilometer so if we subtract from the final at the end of the trip to the starting of the trip so i can get the distance i traveled during the trip distance traveled during the trip equal to you just subtract from 2400 kilometers Want to rewrite this again? So the distance traveled during the trip is 2400 kilometer minus 2000 kilometer. I just traveled 400 kilometer. Okay. Now I am taken to travel time took for the trip
time taken equal to 8 hours. Finally, I need to calculate average speed. So, average speed equal to average speed equal to total distance by total time here total distance 400 kilometer and total time 8 hours you just divide this you can get a 4 in 8 so 2 so you can get the final answer as 50 kilometer per hour is the average speed so we need to calculate the average speed in kilometer per hour and meter per second so here the conversion of kilometers per hour to meter per second conversion of kilometer per hour to meter per second how can you convert that simple knowledge we know that 1 kilometer equal to 1000 meter and 1 hour equal to 60 minutes and 1 minute equal to 1 minute equal to 60 seconds so 1 hour equal to 16 minutes which is also equal to 60 times 60 seconds. I want to write hours in terms of seconds. So if you can multiply that, I can get 3600 seconds. One hour contains 3600 seconds. And one kilometer contains 1000 meters. Now we are having kilometer per hour. So we just divide that 1 kilometer divided by 1 hour equal to 1000 meter divided by 3600 seconds. You can cut these zeros and you can run the two tables 5 to the 10 and 18 to the 36 so 1 kilometer per hour equal to 1 kilometer per hour 1 hour equal to 5 by 18 times of meter per second. So, this is the simplest conversion. So, finally, you can write if you are having, if you need to convert kilometers per hour to meter per second, you just multiply with 5 by 18. Okay? Now, we need to convert 50 km per hour to meter per second. Now, you just multiply 50 in terms of km per hour, you can put this value 5 by 18 times meter per second if you solve this by using so I am having here calculator I can use calculator now so 550 
fifty of five divided by sorry. Fifty of five just multiply fifty times five to fifty divided by eighteen. You can get the value of if we can solve this expression, you can multiply this thirteen point eight eight eight. Is equal to thirteen point eight 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 meter per second. So that's the easiest way to convert fifty kilometer per hour equal to eighty thirteen point eight eight meter per second. Just convert one more time. That's the end of the problem. It's the end of the problem. Now, for practice, you can do one more conversion. Convert thirty-six kilometer per hour to meter per second. So what we can do? You can just multiply 36 kilometer per hour equal to 36 times 5 by 80 meter per second. Cause 1 kilometer per hour equal to 5 by 18 meter per second. So this is the conversion rate. If you can multiply these two two times, we will get that 10 meters per second. So 36 kilometers per hour. So this is the kilometers per hour. Higher units in terms of the distance and time. If the meter per second, 10 meter per second is the lower units in terms of distance and second. Now let's see. We need to convert reverse. Means convert, convert twenty six meter per second. Let me take as twenty five. Convert twenty five meter per second to kilometer per hour. Now this time we are having meter per second. Now we need to convert that kilometer per hour. So how can we do that? We know that one kilometer per hour equal to five by eighteen times meter per second. Now, if you can take this value to other side, so now that will become 18 by 5 of kilometer per hour equal to meter per second. Now it became easy. Now, if you are having value in terms of meter per second. To convert that to kilometer per hour, you need to multiply with 18 by 5. Repeating again, if you are having value in terms of meter per second, to convert that given value in kilometer per hour, you need to multiply with 18 by 5. Now, here you can multiply with that 18 by 5. Here I am having 25 meter per second. So 25 meter per second, which is equal to 25 times 
in terms of meter per second i can substitute this number 18 by 5 kilometer per hour now you can cut these values to so 5 times so you can end up with the 90 kilometer per hour so 25 meters per second is also equal to 90 km per hour so this is known as conversion conversion kilometer per hour to meter per second to convert kilometers per hour to meter per second multiply with Multiply with 5 by 18. Similarly, to convert meter per second to kilometer per hour, kilometer per hour, multiply with. 18 by 5 so this is the conversion in terms of kilometer per hour to meter per second and vice versa let's solve one more problem the problem is Usha swims in a 90 meter long pool she covers 180 meters in 1 minute by swimming from one end to the other and back along the same straight path. Find the average speed and average velocity of Usha. So, there is a pool. So, this Pool length is 90 meter. The pool length is 90 meter. Usha covers 180 meter in one minute. Means Usha starts at here at point A. That she is Usha. Usha starts to swim at A, so she will go to the another end at B in this direction and again come back in the same straight path in the opposite direction in one minute. So in one minute she swims 180 meter back and forth we need to find average speed and average velocity of usha average speed and average velocity of usha to calculate average speed what is the average speed formula average speed equal to total distance by total time here total distance is 180 meter And total time is one minute. Now we will write speed in terms of meter per second so you can convert the minutes into seconds. Simple. So 180 meter divided by one minute contains 60 seconds. 
you can cut this 6 in 8 it will go to 3 so her average speed equal to 3 meter per second average speed of Usha 3 meter per second in the same problem we need to find average velocity average velocity equal to average velocity equal to total displacement total displacement by total time now here I need to calculate the total displacement of Usha according to displacement definition displacement is the shortest distance between initial to final point when Usha swims back and forth if he is swimming the displacement I am drawing it here so she is supposed to start from A so she all the way go to at B by the time she covered 90 meters and now she has to swim backward to cover another 90 minutes so now she swam back and 90 meters that total distance she covered 180 but here the total displacement she started at A she reached at a again so the displacement here equal to 0 so displacement displacement equal to 0 because there is a no shortest distance between initial and final point where she started there she reached so there is a no displacement. If there is no displacement, so the total displacement here goes to zero. By total time is the one minute. You can substitute. So this value zero by something is zero. The displacement equal to zero. Finally, the average velocity also zero. So you can write zero meter per second. Finally, the answer is the average speed equal to 3 meter per second and average velocity of Usha equal to 0 meter per second. Let's see one more problem. It's the exercise problem. Little tricky but very easy. The problem is an athlete completes one round of a circular track of diameter 200 meter in 40 seconds. What will be the distance covered and the displacement at the end of 2 minutes 20 seconds? An athlete completes one round of a circular track of diameter 200 meter in 40 seconds. So let's make a circular track. Let us imagine it is a circular track of diameter. So its diameter equal to 200 meter. So an athlete completes one round in 40 seconds. So that is the key word here. One round in 40 seconds. Now, one round in 40 seconds, so this I want to ask indifferently, in 40 seconds how many meters I covered? 
in 40 seconds how many meters I covered a thread covered so they said one round but we need that in terms of meter how can we calculate we can calculate that by calculating the circumference of the circle so to calculate that one round we need to calculate the circumference of the circle therefore circumference circumference formula equal to 2 pi r so here r is the radius we are having the diameter if the diameter equal to 200 so radius r equal to diameter by 2 so 200 meter by 2 it gives the value of 100 meter so radius r equal to 100 so that you can write 2 pi times 100 is equal to 200 pi so that is the circumference of the circle now now the problem becomes simple i came to know that in 40 seconds in 40 seconds the earth thread is covering 200 times pi meter yeah you can substitute the value of the pi and a simple pi so later i can do that so in 40 seconds the earth thread covered 200 pi meter now how much time he run so we have to calculate the distance covered at the end of the 2 minutes and 20 seconds so in 2 minutes 20 seconds you can convert that in terms of seconds 2 minutes equal to 120 seconds plus extra 20 seconds is there plus 20 seconds so he run totally 140 seconds now I need to calculate how much distance he covered in 140 seconds so that is the final the distance covered in 2 minutes 20 seconds or same in 140 seconds is now you calculate that 40 seconds 200 pi so for first 40 seconds is 200 pi so another 40 seconds another 200 pi and another 40 seconds it also gives 200 pi so 3 40s are 120 I need to add extra 20 seconds so in extra 20 seconds he may cover half of pi so the total distance he covered equal to 600 and 700 pi total distance
total distance covered in two minutes and twenty seconds equal to seven hundred pi. You can substitute the value of pi. 700 times pi value 22 by 7 is equal to you can cut that 7 in 7 1 times 100 times 22 so 2200 meters is equal to 2200 meters the total distance covered in 2 minutes 20 seconds now another question, what is the total displacement in 2 minutes 20 seconds? The total displacement in 2 minutes 20 seconds is 0. Why because? Sorry. Sorry. The total is the total displacement in two minutes twenty seconds is it's not zero because it's covered extra twenty seconds that I forgot. Do you remember that in circular path in circular path the displacement is zero because in circular path, where I am standing, there I am reaching. So the initial position, final position, the total displacement is zero. But the athlete in two minutes twenty seconds is making he made three rounds. So for the first three rounds, <coughs> the displacement is zero. It means for three rounds, how it is three rounds? You convert the two minutes into 40 seconds each. Two minutes contains 120 seconds. So, round, one round takes 40 seconds. So, first round took 40 seconds. Second round is also took 40 seconds. And third round took 40 seconds. So, for the three rounds, the total equal to 120 seconds. So, this is a 120 seconds. In the first three rounds, the first three rounds, the displacement is zero. The first three rounds, the displacement is zero. But he covered another twenty seconds. If he covered another twenty seconds, it means he may reach from point A in the figure to from point B. He may cover half circle. Half circle. So, this is the displacement he covered in last 20 seconds. So, that is nothing but they are giving the diameter, the diameter 200 meter. Finally, the displacement, the displacement equal to 200 meter because that is only the value that is only the position where he covered in last 20 seconds so this problem is little tricky try to analyze and understand it carefully and solve it by yourself let's solve another problem the problem is given Joseph job from one end A to other end B of a straight 
300 meter road in 2 minutes 50 seconds and then turn around and jog 100 meter back to point C in another 1 minute. What are Joseph's average speeds and velocities in jogging? Two questions given from A to B and A to C. First, make a figure. So, Joseph is jogging in a straight, straight road. So, he is jogging at point A. So, this is the point A to another end, point B. In 2 minutes, time t equal to 2 minutes 50 seconds. So, this the distance is given 300 meter distance between A to B and he turns back from the B to he will turn back and he will jog some more time to reach a point C so this is the point C so this distance from B to C equal to 100 meter he will jog this within one minute. Now we need to calculate average speed. We need to calculate average speed and average velocity in jogging A to B. First question from A to B. In this one, I need to calculate average speed. Average speed equal to total distance upon total time. From A to B, what is the total distance? A to B, the total distance equal to 300 meter and the total time equal to 2 minutes 50 seconds. 2 minutes 50 seconds. This you convert minutes in terms of seconds that is equal to 300 divided by 2 minutes contains 120 seconds and 50 seconds extra you can get 120 plus 50 equal to 170 seconds and meter. So, you solve it 300 by 170 meters that will give the final answer. So, you can get it from the calculator 300 divided by 170 equal to the average speed equal to 1.76 meter per second from the A to B. Now we need to calculate average velocity. In the A to B case, what is the average velocity? In the A to B situation, write the <coughs> Average velocity, average velocity equal to total displacement by total time. Average velocity equal to total displacement by total time. In the A to B situation, the total displacement equal to A to B is nothing but 300 meter and the total time is the same 2 minutes 50 seconds 
is equal to 300 meter by 170 second nothing change which gives the result same as about 17 sorry 1.76 meter per second so the average speed and the average velocity in the first case from a to b is same is remains same now coming to the second case from b to c 